Welcome back, young data guardians. Today, we're diving deeper into how companies use your data to influence your choices. But don't worry, we've got some tips to help you outsmart them. Welcome to Data Detectives. Our last adventure taught us about personal data and how companies use it. But now, we're going to uncover the secrets behind their tricks. Let's look at some things that companies use your data for. Sneaky suggestions. It's like when you tell your friend you love pizza and suddenly all your ads are about pizza places. Friendship tricks. You know how your game asks you to invite friends? Companies use your data to make you feel like you're missing out if you don't invite more friends, so you'll keep playing. Surprise discounts. Sometimes they know what you like to buy, so they send you special discounts. It's like a secret mission to make you think, wow, I need to buy this right now. Emoji antics. When you use emojis or stickers, companies use them to understand how you feel. Then they show you more things that match your moods, making you feel happier or sadder. They're trying their hardest to keep you online as much as possible, but don't forget about all the other amazing things that you could be doing. So, how can you protect yourself from these tricks? Be smart about what you click and share online. Turn on your privacy settings. It's like putting on an invisibility cloak for your information. Don't let yourself be too influenced by ads. Think about what is really most important to you, not what you see in an ad. Mix up your emoji language. If you don't always use the same ones, it will be harder for the online wizards to guess how you feel. Share your discoveries in the digital world with your grown-ups, and they can guide you on the adventure. Thanks for coming along on another adventure. Keep learning and don't forget, you can outsmart those sneaky data tricks. See you next time, young data guardians.